fantastic. It's Carl here from Games Brains of Banging Life, and I'm with Happy Hard Rockers themselves, the Dirty Denims. Hello! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The gang are being sent to our very own desert island. As others have gone before, they are following next, where they will li live out their remaining years in the sun and on the beach. However, that's pretty boring. So to try and ensure that that doesn't set in and they don't resort to hunting each other for fun, we have just enough room on our boat for them to take a few bits, namely a set of games of books, horror movies, and albums. Each member, because there are four of you in the band, although we're just talking to two of you, each member has chosen one of each item. But before we get into that, let's find out a little bit more about you guys. Guys, it is an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Finally, how are you doing? Yes, great. Great to talk to you <laughs> in, in the soil of real life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's really hot in here. So, yeah, uh... I guess in the UK, is it hot too? Absolutely, yeah, we're in the midst of a heat wave about six days into it and it does not seem to be ending. At least no, in the I... south of England, where I am. The north of England got a t horrendous storm last night. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We've not had it yet. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah so in the Netherlands it isn't that far away, so it's a, lot, a little bit of the same. <laughs> okay, you guys are you guys are based in Eidenhoven, right? Yes. yes. I know a rock city. Yeah. yeah. In the south of the Netherlands, it is. Okay, yeah. okay. It's a, city, uh, city I've always wanted to visit, but uh, that's out of the question now completely. No, yeah. <laughs> I hope it will uh, soon because we like to uh, go to the UK. Also, um, almost every summer we go to one of the, the cities or something. Uh, we think we have them all at <laughs> in the summer, so yeah. <laughs> too bad this, uh, this year not. Oh, not. really? Yeah, as a as a holiday, so not with the band. We never been there. Unfortunately, never been played in the UK before. But you've come over to the UK as a holiday. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you, you said you've done what? Done all the cities or a lot of the cities? Oh. No, but a lot of the biggest uh, yeah. Manchester, London, Liverpool, uh, like that's all the. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I, I, we're in London. We're lo we're basically in London, so that's my home city. So you oh. know, it's kind of like. Or where did you go? What did you see? Where did you go and have a drink? That kind of thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Um, the garlic bar. That's what. Oh, I the remember. garlic bar. It's so we uh, we uh, because a uh, long time ago on school I did uh, three months on the school in London, so it was a lot long time in London. But the last time we went to London, we discovered Let's... the garlic bar, and it's great uh, rock bar. So we we liked it a lot. Yeah, great food. It was the bar with the best music. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And had a lot of garlic, so there were no yeah. vampires around, so... <laughs> yeah, really no horror in there. Yeah, yeah. It's certainly in the name. So, we got to talk about the elephant in the room first, guys. Obviously, things have been crazy in the world for the last couple of months. How have you guys personally been coping with the worldwide issues that have overtaken lives? Yeah, uh, all the gigs are... Yeah, not many are cancelled, but they are going... Uh, Postponed. Our, yeah, yeah, postponed yeah. to next year, so we are happy not too much is really cancelled. But uh, one day before in the Netherlands, uh, all the cafes and had to shut down, we recorded, uh, we finished the recording of our new album. <laughs> so it was quite... Uh, just in time. Just in yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, so we had that luck because then we could uh, let do the mixing and the mastering uh, during the... Yeah, sort of, yeah, I would say sort of lockdown. lockdown, we don't yeah. have the real yeah. lockdown, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so we, um, and we released our new album also in the Corona time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and um, the 3rd of July it, it was, um, but we so sold a lot of albums online, so we are very, very happy with that. So uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's not, of course, we like to play a lot of live. Yeah, it's actually the the favorite, most favorite things we want to do, we cannot do anymore for, for a while. So yeah, visiting concerts, playing gigs. So yeah, meeting uh, people that, in re real life. That really sucks. Yeah, yeah. we did uh, like uh, the online concerts uh, also from our rehearsal room. That was fun too because people say things. We even did a Zoom concert. Yeah, you still can yeah. interact. But yeah. It, but when you play a real show, you get yeah. the energy from people yeah. who are like, yeah, you, know, you have the beers, people yeah. get a bit drunk, and so it's. But we did this, a Zoom meeting, and then uh, we saw them. Yeah. We, we couldn't hear them, but they do. They did like ah during our playing, so that, that was, was cool. Really cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's amazing yeah. you were able to do that because it's kind of been forced on you in this yeah. time. Yeah. The everyone. A lot of bands and artists have stepped up their game in regards to the online thing, uh, yeah. whether it be a performance or some kind of event and so on. And even like 
charging ticket uh, prices, even though like low prices for these shows and so on. Is yeah. that something you're going to be looking to do as you go on, or is it now just a matter of waiting and hoping for things to get back to some form of normality? Yeah, we, we already were quite an online band because I'm <laughs> really into the online thing, <laughs> online marketing and stuff. So, but uh, of course, we love to play the offline gigs the most. But um, yeah, we discovered that it's cool to play online shows because we never played like in the UK and we have followers in the UK so they could see us now <laughs> do the gig. In real time. So, uh, yeah, so sure, that's yeah. a reason to uh, yeah maybe sometimes still do uh, that uh, sort of thing. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And I mean you yeah. guys are such a positive force of nature, not even just talking to you here, but any cursory look upon your social media or listen to the listen to the album, you know, as an example. Is it easy for you guys to kind of sustain that positivity when life often at this time feels quite negative? No, we are quite uh, positive people, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, uh, but yeah, I, I, I did a tear in the beginning when I heard uh, on the radio. On because the, she does all the bookings. So uh, yeah. A lot of time goes into booking and contacting people. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and, and then yeah. first two shows were cancelled and we were like, going on why mm. and then everything else happened and all yeah. shows got cancelled mostly so that's yeah but um, yeah. we are quite uh, fast with okay, then, okay let's deal yeah. with it yeah, <laughs> let's, yeah it is what it is yeah. right so we never have yeah. thought about it to to postpone the album also because yeah I'm, I'm glad we didn't because we get very great reviews and the the fans are uh, Acting, yeah, very cool, and they buy the album in line, online instead of uh, at the gig. So, uh, yeah, we hope it's going to be normal sometime again. <laughs> we just hope it's going to be normal really soon. Yeah, uh, that we can play real shows because that's that's the best. Online is okay, yeah, because it's, yeah. but, but the, the real energy, the real yeah. uh, rock and roll is not online. Rock and mm -hmm. roll has to be in the real dirty and sweaty yeah, and, uh, and yeah. with the nose to each yeah. other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, your style of music is what we would call over here perfect for an American style dive bar. We've got a few in England as well, where you have that stage, you have that sweat and that grime, and you yeah. have people packed in. Um, obviously, I've never seen you guys live, uh, but that's the image we I. Are great. Great. Yeah, yeah, we are great. Yeah, we are great. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Best band you will ever see. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's get started then. Yeah. Games or books? What's the focus? Is it a mix of both or just games? Yeah, it's a little bit of mix. Oh, great. Let, let me, okay. So uh, this is uh, Mark, our bass player. Yeah. <laughs> Ma Mark is really a gamer. Yeah, Ma Mark is yeah. really a gamer. He's the, he's the gamer of, uh, of our band. And uh, so we asked him oh, about a, a few of his favorite uh, games. Yeah, games. Yeah. Can I tell them all, of, all three? And then the first is, uh, is his choice. Okay. Because we let him choose the game because he's a real game. He said the Legend of Zelda. Osaria of Ocaria. Osaria, Ocarina, Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Of time. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Yes. yes, number one game. And yeah. uh, because the stories are fine and the gameplay, he loves about it and uh, he likes semi traditional fantasy settings. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and um, the, the second is a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, the new one, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the third uh, choice would be, but he only can take one, but uh, The Witcher 3, A Wild Hunt. Okay. Um, also, yeah, but the last one is also also uh, a book, he says. So. Mm. Well, yeah. Oh, and he he I... tells he's now on a, on an island, the Dutch island. He's now on a Dutch island. Um, we have small islands on top of... Yeah, uh, the Netherlands. Yes. Uh, and he's now reading that book, The Witcher, on an island. And the two games are also on, on an island, he says. So that's uh, cool. Oh, that's fantastic. I can instantly get an image uh, of what he likes based off those okay. fantasy games. It's funny, it's funny because I used to... I, I'm not really a gamer, but I uh, used to play uh, Nintendo, NES. And uh, my favorite game de back then was Zelda, Link 2. Oh, li oh yeah, yeah. So Link it's still, oh, yeah. uh, still so, around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine was like um, uh, Commander Keen, like <laughs> a lot way, I don't know if you know, but I guess. Yeah. And uh, Suzanne said uh, Sim City, but yeah. So Mark is the real game Mark right is now. Mark real, yeah. <laughs> he's the hardcore. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's also a bit younger, so he's uh, grew, yeah. grew up with the gaming. 
Yeah, I also also a little bit by my brothers when I was younger, but it doesn't stay. <laughs> it didn't stay. Well, just focus briefly on The Witcher then. Um, are you do you know this? Do you know that um, series quite well? The games, books, and of course, there's a TV series now on Netflix. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He's, it's all about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe we can try that, and if we like that, we can start gaming. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I think you'd have a lot of fun. Uh, are okay. you are you fantasy Game of Thrones style fans, that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, Mark is, but yeah. uh, we are more like, um, yeah, I guess you can tell it by our uh, picks of the movies la later, but uh, like 80s movies. And, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm from the 80s, I'm from 85, and it's a very great year in the movie, <laughs> movie year. <laughs> it really is. I mean, I will tell you now, I'm 84, my wife is 85. And the, my favorite era of movies, horror, is the 80s. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we'll, we'll be good when we get there. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Um, yeah, we had to, so we had the games and we also had some uh, books. And we can tell also a little bit more about that. Um, your favorite? Yeah, my favorite books, my favorite writer is uh, yeah, well, Stephen King. Okay. What a surprise! Right? Yeah. Not really. Uh, not this book, but yeah, yeah. But when I was younger, I used to read everything that he uh, he wrote. So uh, still one of my favorite writers that that come by. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, it, right? Yeah, I think my favorite book of him is it. It's it, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. I mean, you're talking to a Stephen King fan yourself here, and uh, yeah. one of our writers is a super fan of King. Again, read every book, adores things like The Dark Tower. Oh yeah, yeah. Anything else, you know. Yeah. Um, so, it. Why it? What's special about it? Yeah, when I was was young, I think I was around twelve or thirteen. I was re then that was, was when I wrote. Uh, yeah, when I. Uh, Wrote, no, not wrote, read, wrote, read, 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 no. uh, I didn't write, I didn't write it. <laughs> I, I read it. Yeah, I read that's it, that's yeah. what I read. It. So, uh, and it really made a really big impact on me. I, I uh, could see uh, in my head, I could see the film. Uh, and uh, a bit later, also the, the the first movie, the miniseries, came out. But I had read the book before, so I thought the ending was kind of sucked. But um, but the movie was also. I was really a bit younger. Really cool. So that that I think is my my real Stephen King. Uh, yeah, the biggest love. But I, I love most of the stuff: the werewolves, vampires, everything. And all five stars or Cujo, especially the older stuff. I think that that's that's the, the best. But I still like reading the new uh, the new stuff. So, uh, but but it if I have to choose one, it would be it. That's fascinating. Um, I love that fact that it's something you read as in your youth because. Um, not a lot of people would be able to, in their younger years, perhaps get along with his writing style, particularly an epic like it. Yeah. Um, such a huge book with yeah. such bad themes. Yeah. He's very uh, describing, or uh, he, yeah, when I very read the uh, Stephen King book, it's, he's very in detail. So, uh, very descriptive. Yeah, you have to uh, like that when you are young. And, that, and I the, think yeah. also that's why it's really popular, yeah. because you can really imagine, you, you can see it happen before your, yeah. before your eyes when you're reading. Yeah. Well, what were you, were you thinking of the movie then? <laughs> the movie? Yeah, 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 I, yeah. Liked, I liked yeah. the movie, but I didn't like the ending because the ending in the oh, first yeah. series was... Uh, but uh, I, I did like the new movies. Yeah. That's, yeah, I was going to ask, what did you think yeah. of the two parts? But you enjoyed yeah. them, yeah? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed part one the most. I think that really got the... Because it's more 80s. Yeah. Really got the 80s atmosphere mm. that I really liked. And uh, But the second movie was, was good. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I wasn't blown away. I, the first one, I, I I thought, ah man, this is great because it reminds me so much of like an eighties movie. Because I also like the Goonies and stuff like that. And it's like Stand by Me, also really good, not a real horror, but mm. great story. Um, and it reminded me of of that feeling that I had when I uh, watched Stand by Me, also when I was younger, and. Uh, yeah, the second movie, the first movie of the new one, uh, I really liked, and the second one was a good, good ending. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's very important as well to always sort of highlight when you talk about the adaptation side of things that King's uh, books to movies adaptions, obviously very hit and miss. But often his best yeah. work comes from the non-horror side of things. You already yeah. been down by me, and yeah. the Shank Redemption, the Green yeah. Mile. These are the best. Misery. 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 Yeah. Misery. Oh. 
I love that. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah, um, I was thinking a lot of what what book to uh, say. I, I read a lot, but I couldn't <laughs> get one in my head. But uh, the first one of I guess it's the first one. I'm not sure. Yeah. M J R R Litch Ini Mini. I don't know if you know it, but it's a series of like uh, books with the, the names of um, children's. children's songs. Okay. And, uh, mini, 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 yeah, mini, I like that. Uh, I'm more like a, a, a knowledge reader, like a, a, about nerd online marketing stuff. <laughs> but that uh, book was. She, she reads <laughs> books that, that feel like homework. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah I, ca I said, mm, I can't come with like, a book like that. So, right. that, But that was a real uh, a thriller uh, uh, um, book that I liked a lot. So uh, I want to read more of, uh, of that ride. It's your choice. You can choose anything that's going to keep your attention. Um, if, if we have internet on the... Uh, <laughs> I guess not. No, no, it's, uh, we've, we've had this come up when it comes to gaming. People want to do online gaming. Yeah, there's oh, an, yeah, yeah. a secret yeah. internet connection if, that, if that's needed, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. then I can still do all my online marketing stuff because I can uh, do it all, where, wherever I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, I, we also asked... Uh, that's Suzanne, this is Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, really cute. <laughs> Marcus looks like this all the time. Yeah. And if, if Suzanne is hungry, she, she yeah, will she do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She our drums is a drummer. Or Suzanne is a drummer, and she can eat a lot, and she's very thin. <laughs> we don't know, <laughs> but uh, but when she's yeah. hungry, she's like. And, and there's a commercial of, uh, more of, of Snickers. Of Snickers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's also in in the UK. Uh, if somebody eats a Snickers, then he will become himself. Oh he, yes, of course, yeah. the Snickers advert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that that could be. Uh, Suzanne uh, uses a lot of yeah. power, of course, with the drumming. Energy. Yeah. Uh, energy. Yeah. Uh, sure. Fantastic. So she turns sometimes into it. Yeah. <laughs> but her uh, uh, favorite writer is Dan Brown. Okay. Inferno. Uh, and yeah, if I can take a second book, she said, uh, I want to bring a cookbook because she's very great at barbecuing, and that's very cool on an island. <laughs> All the time in the world to fish. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, it's very great if we are four together on an island, then like, she can be the cook. I love that only one of you guys chose games and the games that were chosen were epics and huge and time consuming as well. And the rest of you all yeah. chose books with quite varied, varied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and Mark, uh, I guess um, you will never uh, guess his uh, book because the book he's uh, selling us is Tales of Mystery and Imagination from Alan Edgar Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, Edgar, Alan, oh, Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Uh, because he loves dark stories with a twist, he says. Fascinating, <laughs> wonderful piece of work. Oh. Well, it's pretty old, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's very, he's a very uh, yeah, bright more, person. It, it's he's it's very, too bad he is not here. Yeah. Because He's really the gamer, and he's also the Game of Thrones guy. And uh, yeah, he yeah. could, but then the interview would be two, two uh, three hours, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Maybe we should do a special yeah. interview with him. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to do it again, yeah. then do it with him, and yeah. then uh, <laughs> within uh, within a few months. <laughs> No worries. Well, here's the thing. That's that done. We'll move on to the next one in a bit. But before then, you already mentioned your latest release, Ready, Steady, Go, yeah. came out July 3rd, 2020. Woo. Look at that yeah. vinyl. That is beautiful to look at. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this. Uh, you want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, like uh, orange. Uh, it's like. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. That. Yes, it's out. Yeah, obviously the first part of the album came out in November uh, 2019, the year before. Why did you choose to split the album up? We did that also with the last uh, album, Back With A Bang. Hmm. Um, yeah, and we liked it. Uh, cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> and no, uh, yeah, uh, brands. Uh, yeah, and we liked it a lot. Uh, because you have to, two moments to celebrate a physical release. And uh, so the part one was only released on a CD and uh, the complete album on vinyl and CD and all online both, of course. But uh, you can do when you don't have Corona. So we are happy we did a release party <laughs> in November. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, normally then you can do two release parties. You can um, yeah, go to the press and uh, fans don't have to wait so long. So uh, yeah, we liked it. 
because when you release an album it's only there for like short attention span for the people so it's yeah there it is and then hey it's gone so now we have twice that uh, that moment and it also um, gives you a little bit more time to write the songs okay yes it's, we do also when that uh, the writing and the recording of the album is also two-parted so you have a little bit more like uh, uh, different uh, stages one a few months writing few months rehearsing yeah, rehearsing. And then recording yeah and then it's recorded we can go back writing the songs rehearsing and, and then you can also uh, because the studio costs a lot of money you can save the yeah you yeah. don't have to spend everything in, uh, one, one time yeah. and you don't have to stay in the studio uh, too long else you yeah. will be in the studio maybe for i think we recorded this one in three uh, uh two times three days i guess Oh really? So, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Well, without the mixing, but the oh, recording. Uh, yeah, only, yeah. Yeah, three days, part one, three days. Uh, Six days. Yeah, like uh, really? one evening, a little yeah. bit build up and uh, sound yeah. making, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah the extra yeah, recordings were three days for. So six yeah. in total for the yeah. complete yeah. album. Yeah. Think like two to three weeks is fast, let alone six days. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, we but we really did. Uh, uh, pre-production. Pre-production. We really knew everything we wanted to play. Well, we learned from the past. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we the, we uh, played the songs in the rehearsal room when we recorded just with an iPhone. But uh, hear it back and uh, is just, it too fast or the, too slow? The, the tempo, yeah. because when you're playing it live, it's mostly it's a bit faster. Yeah, it's nicer to play it fast. If you, if you hear like ACDC live records, it's like me. Yeah. But if you hear the records, the studio albums, it's mellow. Yeah, it's, it's so. uh, hearing is um, uh, most of the time better to have it a little bit uh, less fast. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, so you, you guys really know what you're after when you go to these uh, recording sessions. Then, by the sound of it, you know exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. also, um, yeah, you write the songs, <laughs> and uh, when he, the, the, uh, he records the demo, he already says, "I really already know how it will sound," and I'm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes yeah. when I play guitar, just here in the living room, and then I have a riff, and then I already know what it's gonna be. But uh, of course, I can do it by myself. I need the, the band members, and uh, they all are yeah. perfect to work with because, okay, the songs are easy, you know. Uh, um, yeah, but you, I, I guess you um, do yourself. Um, I dag. Yeah, challenge. challenge yeah, I yourself. try to challenge myself, um, yeah. but but uh, it's not. Uh, if I play I, the riff, then they automatically know oh, it, it, it's gonna I, it's gonna need a drum like this or yeah. a bass like this. But then they make their own part. Uh, what do you say parts or yeah. own? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So they part. feel they feel the right parts yeah, already. Yeah, they feel the right parts, <laughs> and then it's just yeah, and it works perfect. And then when it's recorded, uh, sometimes we can add some stuff. And, uh, but then most of the time when it's finished, it's like what was in my head when I was playing it here. Yeah. So then it's actually finished in the, yeah, but it's, it's easy. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. So it sounds very democratic. It sounds like you're a very united front when it comes to effectively completing and putting a song together. Yeah, that, that's true. But sometimes when I really uh, know, because I know what I want to hear, yeah. So sometimes I, I, I ask, uh, for, for instance, like Suzanne, can you put each head of this, do this, and then it, it's, it, then uh, she will know what I mean. When it's, mm -hmm. Maybe at first uh, it's like, huh, wh what do you mean? And then yeah, just play it, and then you will know what I mean, and then it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, he's, he writes a song, so uh, he has the, how do you say, it? the prior, uh, the first, Quote about the song itself, but uh, 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 I, if somebody has an, uh, another idea or, or says, so "Let's try this yeah, you want or to this," try. then then yeah. we'll try it. Of course, but uh, always uh, want the best for the song, not because I came up with the idea or, but it has to be the best for the song. That's, I think the most important. So if the song needs that I play a bit less, or then I will play a bit less, or it needs more. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, you you effectively have to keep your ego in check to a certain degree, otherwise. Yeah, because it's huge, my <laughs> ego. Yeah. <laughs> well, how overall so far then to this point, 
3rd of July till whatever we are now, 12th of August or whatever. Um, the reaction to the album so far, how have you found it? When you're looking online and you're checking the comments and you're reading reviews and all that, are you happy with what you've been hearing? Pleasantly surprised? Yes. I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, but because, happy. <laughs> but, but because I think it's a damn good record, but, uh, yeah. but a lot of people agree. So that's- Yeah, that's uh, great. Yeah. yeah, we didn't get a-, and, get and a it's, it's not the groundbreaking uh, new stuff. It's just good kick-ass rock and roll yeah. that I, I, I like. and. Uh, the people need to feel good and but still if you listen really close to the the, the parts that, that are played or the, the structure sometimes it sounds easier it. than it is maybe <laughs> but that's good yeah. so so people who really know the also can play the music they think ah that's clever but if people listen to it it should be easy listening so you, uh, yeah it's very good and also um, very catchy uh, vocals Oh, yeah. most of the time he, the catchy parts <laughs> he uh, makes up and uh, I like that a lot so because uh, hard rock isn't always very uh, catchy but I guess yeah or always are quite catchy so you sing along uh, after you hear it one time you can sing along <laughs> that's what I see in the crowd uh, yeah. yeah I always have uh, I try to uh, the people who never heard the song at the end of the song it would be nice if they can sing along yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. They've picked up either a chorus line or certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I also really like uh, pop, like uh, good pop music. So I think what what we do is also very pop-like, but with guitars and guitar solos. So uh, yeah. But, yeah. yeah, I understand it. I can understand how you can draw that distinction. It makes sense. Yeah. But there's also, it can sometimes be a little bit insulting in regards to your music, where, where people will apply, oh, it's simple rock and roll. Oh, it's simplified yeah. and it's standard verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and so on. Yet yeah. that sort of yeah. music turned the likes of ACDC into superstars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Just and uh, of course, the band always thinks the last one is the best, but <laughs> and I think now too. But uh, we hear a lot of uh, fans and reviews that they like it uh, the most still now. Yeah, so. the, the, the yeah. response is, re is really good. So yeah. that's, uh, I think we did not get, I think there was one that, that liked the previous yeah. record yeah. better, because this one was more of the same. And I think, yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's more the same, just I think it's a little bit better, but... Uh... Yeah, some uh, of the fans that says also, um, said also uh, that it was a little bit more uh, versatile. Versatile. Yeah, yeah like... Yeah. Um, Shows uh, yeah, we have like more the, the, the hard rock-ish songs and we have like the punk rock power pop ish songs yeah, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes now um, it's a bit 60s sometimes i also like yeah with uh, the like, organ yeah, i really like also mm. uh, six, seven kings or uh, small places and stuff like that like the energy of the the 60s the who for example i really love them so it's not that we sound like the who but it's also an influence so that's what you're gonna hear and the scandinavian rock and roll is also a little bit more yeah. like in uh, roll the dice we have like a piano do, 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 do. it's very uh, scandinavian rock and roll yeah, and I mean like, like <laughs> helicopters yeah okay yeah so they have an include and this for oh so, uh, well, of course <laughs> yeah and, and yeah that is a bit it gave us a, the song a bit of a scandinavian twist i think so uh, yeah only by adding that. a piano but uh, well, in my opinion, it is essentially an album packed with good time rock and roll feelings. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of booze and an injection of what is effectively like hot in lead. It goes with the cover, it goes with the imagery. Yeah. Is that the mantra of the Dirty Denims, Den De excuse me, the Dirty Denims, where it's kind of about good time rock and roll all the time? Yeah. Most of the time, yeah, but you sing sometimes about the little frustrations in life, but yeah. uh, I guess the songs are still uh, happy, we take it. We take the, the world's very light. Yeah, I guess there are, there are enough uh, singer songwriters or radio heads who can do the yeah, yeah. The so other stuff. Our so, job is to make yeah. make people happy with our heart. So uh, happy heart rock. That's why we uh, call it that. <laughs> it's also it's, it's fun to play, and and when it's fun to play, um, then it's also good uh, and easy to uh, get a crowd going when when you're having fun playing because. Sometimes we get a reaction, hey, 
mosquito. <laughs> and, uh, oh, you don't people know. say, yeah, you look like you have a good time on stage all the time. But, yeah. but, and, but, and they are surprised. They're like, surprised. So what band are you going to? <laughs> we, we, we really have a good time on stage because we love playing the loud amps and having fun and being a bit like, you know, the, the moves and see people smile and it's, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, and we, uh, when we, uh, Called it happy hard work. Then, yeah, we, we also need a, a happy band photo. So, have hard work bands sometimes of metal uh, like looking there. But that that doesn't fit with our music. We need to be uh, that energetic photo and uh, classic cars and stuff. <laughs> so important that it doesn't come across forced, and it very much doesn't no, with no. guys, whether it be no. a picture or a video. No, it, it's really, it's yeah, it's it's just. Natural. ourselves we can change it <laughs> we, yeah it's uh, difficult to uh, do something that's not you so uh, yeah it's ev yeah it's everything we like I think what what we do and also the artwork we are very involved with choosing the artist and working with them and uh, having ideas and uh, also with the, the band uh, the photographs yeah, yeah the uh, yeah when, when the, we, we had a song called ready steady go it's popped up in him. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. But uh, Ready, Steady, Go, and we thought, oh, that's a cool name also for the album. And yeah, Ready, Steady, Go is really from the, for the, um, the racing, on the racing track. So um, we yep. have everything in racing style. I also, also have a clothes for on stage with the cat suit. Cat uh, suit. Pit, uh, pit, uh, pit, uh, pit push. It's called Pitpus. In, in the Netherlands. The, <laughs> <laughs> the girls who are with, uh, Car, the car racing. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's fantastic. What a great image. I yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> but the Ready Steady Go, where there was a really uh, an old an old intro we used to play, because uh, he said he came up with Ready Steady Go. Uh, the intro, the, the riff from the song where the album starts with, we used to play um, uh, an um, instrumental. It's kind of similar. It's got the same riff and a bit of the same chords. Because um, I, I went to the darkness. Uh, uh, I went to the darkness. To the band, the darkness. <laughs> I saw them in a really small club with, uh, I think there were about 70 people. Wow. Yeah, that's really. Uh, 70? Uh, seven, oh. seven, 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 seven zero, I think. Oh, seven zero. Yeah, yeah, in a really small club. Just before they uh, released the album, I think. and. Um, and then they started also with uh, an instrumental and I thought that was cool to have an instrumental and uh, I thought, well, maybe we should do that and uh, but we played it a few years I think as opening and then we we forgot about it but the riff I really liked the riff and she said yeah you should do something with the riff and then um, I tried to yeah, I did with some chords I just did a bit of jamming on my own and then I came up with uh, yeah, with the rest, stuff. and then yeah. yeah, it should be a catchy. Uh, it should be something that people can ready, steady, go, and it's a good opening for the record. Also, yeah. I think it's a cool title. Uh, there are many. I think there are a few records that, that have the same title, but yeah, it, it, it fits. <laughs> so why? Yeah, why don't? Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, 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 uh, that song is a little bit of an airborne-ish, fast-paced yeah, uh, yeah, song. Yeah. So. And it's really actually the riff is one of our oldest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's been repurposed, it's been reused. It's a fantastic decision. It's making sure it's that yeah. Yeah. not wasted. Yeah. Horror movies then, let's do Horror this. Horror movies, yes. Um, which one? Yeah, well, my, my favorite horror, it's more like a horror comedy. I'm, I'm, I'm from 1975, so I was in uh, around 10 and in 80, 85. And uh, I used to watch all the 80s movies when they came out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite is uh, I've got it here. It's not really really horror, but the Lost Boys. Yeah, I think it's a classic vampire uh, movie. It is. That's that's one of my favorites. It's not like horror horror like gore gore, but uh, that's what I really like. Yeah. So that's one of my favorites. Um, I also I, I remember when I was a uh, uh, young I saw that that really really scared me. Uh, was American Werewolf in London. Oh wow, yeah. That was uh, when I saw the the guy change into the werewolf, and it's before C uh, CGI. Yeah. So that's, 
I, I really was scared when I saw that but as a kid. So that always, I always remember that movie. So uh, and it's and it's got a lot of humor also in it. Yeah. I like I like the humor in horror movies. It's, if it's too serious, then uh, then I like it. But I like a bit of uh, comedy also uh, in it. I love that you would, uh, you know, you would have those attractions to those two films, but one one would scare you more, even though they both have the same kind of light comedy. Yeah. I think the difference is, as you already said, American Werewolf in London will have those comedic moments and then flip it around into something that's quite horrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas The Lost Boys is consistently, um, dare I say, lighter and uh, yeah, more funny. Yeah, more yeah. more yeah. more glossy almost to a yeah. certain degree. Yeah. The, yeah. I guess, I guess that might come with the location um, yeah. that it's filmed at and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't know if you can call uh, the Gremlins a horror movie, but <laughs> first one certainly has it. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, it. We we uh. <laughs> he has a real doll. Like you, you can, can like. Uh, uh, Remnants is my, one of my favorites if you can't call it a, a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. So, uh, of course, I like it. It's a cutie one, and then the, the evil one. The evil ones, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Mark was saying Poltergeist. Oh, like wow. 80s yeah. horror, he yeah. says. I love what that. What choice. What choice, yeah, absolutely terrified me as a kid. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, Suzanne said uh, Silence of the Lambs, but she, she said it doesn't it's watch not a lot. No, it's not a horror, right? It's more like a thriller. It's a thriller. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, she is really a drummer and she loves to really the. Hold up, we're losing you a little bit. Oh, I think we got a frozen connection. Don't know if you can hear me. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. They are we are back. Yes, okay. we are back. Yeah. Okay. It Where did you lose us? <laughs> uh, it was Silence of the Lambs not being uh, why why it was chosen. Oh yeah, Suzanne, uh, she likes that uh, movie, but um, oh yeah, I was telling, she's a real drummer. Yeah. She, she likes to drum, so she doesn't... Uh... She doesn't really care for movies, I think, yeah. or not really watch them a lot. No. <laughs> Sometimes when we're uh, at home in the evening, we like to watch series That's or excellent. movies or go to the cinema, but she always wants to drum or, or draw or, 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 or read. Reading, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's why. It's fascinating uh, choice. I guess, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, I also really like uh, the Dawn of the Dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Romero original. Yeah. Yeah, but not not your. I, I didn't. I never saw the original. Oh, the two thousand and six one. Two thousand four. Two thousand four. I looked it up. I thought it was a really good one. And uh, the last uh, zombie movie that I, I really really enjoyed, uh, I saw in the cinema was uh, Train to Buscan. Oh, what a movie! Ah, oh, that was like a. For me, it was like a roller coaster ride in, in my in my cinema chair because it kept on going and and very clever and because it's, I've seen a lot of zombie zombie movies, the, the most famous one, and uh, but this one for me it had a just a little bit extra than the, than the other ones, yeah, because because of the the story and the, yeah the twist. Yeah. Frantic as hell, you're absolutely right. The train yeah. analogy works, it never stops moving. Yeah, yeah. It is such a, I love it when anyone brings up Train to Busan because it's kind of, because it's a Korean movie. It's yeah, really yeah. Well known outside yeah. um, certain circles. So yeah. it's wonderful. I'm glad you love it as much as I do. Yeah. And there's going to be a, a part two, I saw. Yeah, Cold, yeah. Penins Cold Peninsula. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you would, if if you are a zombie fan, I always have to do this at the moment. I always have to throw out a recommendation to yeah. anyone to check out a current. It's about two years old, and if you have Netflix, it's on there. It's yeah. The night eats the world. Oh, okay. the night, like Eat. night, like evening yeah. night. Yeah, night. N i n i g h t. Yeah. Eats. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, basically I'm a huge zombie fan. It's what I grew up with as a child. It's part. It's part of our website title. The brains part comes from the Return of the Living Dead, which is my oh, most oh, favorite yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. 
And like with anything that you love, after a while it gets so desensitized and there's so many bad variations that you kind of get sick of it. So when anything yeah. new comes out, be it Train to the Sun or yeah. the, the World, I get super excited and I want to tell everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, um, right. Uh, where were we? Right, the biggest challenge, we're talking about the biggest challenge that Dirty Denim's face, right? When it comes to turning, you guys, I guess getting you out of the Netherlands and into a more worldwide name, what for you guys do, is the biggest challenge you face, do you think? To uh, spread the, uh, the yes, word, uh, word on basically. music? Yeah, to get, like you said, to get you out of the Netherlands and maybe even if it's whether it's touring uh, throughout Europe more in the UK and Ireland and places like that, or even to America, what's yeah. the challenges? Yeah, I guess uh, doing the bookings because I know how to reach people who like our kind of music. So uh, if we want, to, yeah, we try to. Uh, but uh, getting the gigs, uh, mm. I try to do um, to book a small UK tour. But yeah, I, I stopped because it was so difficult to get the response back. Because of course, in the UK, we have a. Um, a smaller name than in the oh, Netherlands yeah. or the Germany, Germany or Belgium. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we never been there, so uh, but oh, I was so uh, happily to play in in the UK. You have a, a few very great uh, hard rock festivals, uh, so uh, so we want to play there <laughs> because uh, we know when when we play there, people will really like. Yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So we need to how to get in there. So yeah. you need to to have a book or something. Who knows the people who who uh, who will open the email of that of him of her her? Yeah. <laughs> For I, us, so uh, yeah, and with uh, now with uh, Brexit and all, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't mention uh, Brexit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. Uh, then we can come over without instruments, and then we can borrow them there, and then we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, yeah. So. Uh, it's difficult to get a, a response if you, uh, your name isn't that big. Uh, uh, but it would be great to play in the UK because we have quite some followers, even yeah, 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 more we, and more followers yeah, in the UK. A lot UK. of stuff gets sent to, uh, to the UK that people buy in yeah. the UK. UK yeah. yeah, because we have our own web shop, so we really pack the things in ourselves, so we really know. And we write something with it, and but we know exactly who is buying, and uh, there are a lot of people from the UK. Yeah. Going back to what you said about um, being aware of certain hard rock festivals in the UK um, yeah. that you, you, you're interested in, I guess. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Festivals are a major part of our makeup, not just as the site and the uh, brand, but also as fans as well. So I'm quite interested to know what festivals you kind of have yeah. in mind. Uh, hard rock hell. Okay. Yeah, it, it, uh, I guess Hard Rock Hell Festival has a lot of uh, events. Yeah. Like look more the sleaze uh, kind of. I guess we a little bit also in the glam sleaze kind. So and uh, Download Festival is also in UK, right? Yeah. Download. Yeah, because I have a row on my computer with all the festivals I want to play, and I'm looking for the UK. Yeah, I guess those two oh, would be <laughs> would be so great. <laughs> but like I know they are very big. But I, I will. Uh, I'm planning to have a look on the, to look at the bands up that are smaller on the bill. <laughs> have a look how uh, who that are and uh, how many like followers similar, they similar, have. Similar bands. Similar bands. Yeah. yeah. yeah so play there. Yeah. So maybe I can. Yeah, we can figure something out to, to we can play there because it's amazing uh, lineups are there, over there. So. Make sure, because I uh, there's a festival that I, when I think of the Dirty Denims and I hear your music in my oh, yeah? head, there's one festival that jumps. <laughs> 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 um, it's called Ramblin' Man Fair. Oh, no, I heard of that. Yeah it, yeah, it 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 was postponed this year, obviously like all our festivals, 2021, but it's very much a hard rock, rock, country, okay. blues festival, like clutch of the headliners next year. Uh, it takes place in Kent and stuff like that, but I think you guys would, you'd fit so well on, there's a stage there that's about um, up and coming bands, basically, yeah. um, the rising stage. I think you guys would fit that. Oh, I, I, I guess uh, we, um, I, uh, they have a, a like a, what's that? Competition? A competition about something. Um, I guess I uh, sent something in, but then you have to do the competition uh, over there too, and you have to come to the UK for one gig and then go back and then hoping that you will be the one. But yeah, 
I will check it out again because that would be great. I say just throw, just email everyone, regardless of the festival, what their theme is, because yeah. it's rock music and rock music fits anywhere. And a festival I go to every year, our favorite festival is called Bloodstock, which is predominantly uh, very heavy black yes. death and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. rock bands still play there. Yeah. And we've seen rock bands play, great bands from um, many, from the, throughout the world. Rock bands coming all the way from South Africa and things like that. I don't, there's, it, it's, um, I hate the idea of you guys being pigeonholed because you play rock and that means you can only play this festival because, oh, the the rest of the music's too heavy and stuff yeah, like that, uh, you know? Yeah, we, we, we played a, a festival once uh, close to the uh, Czech border in Germany. And I think uh, our, our logo was the only one you could read. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get an idea of the, of the, well, of the uh, other bands. That's the Dirty Denims, yeah. uh, we were thinking. And, hmm. and uh, we, were th we, we, we arrived and we said, are they gonna like us? And, but, <laughs> was amazing and the people are also of course open-minded because they, they and if you have a good rock show then they, they will like it and uh, even I think they mentioned this in the local newspaper that it was the surprise, surprise of the <laughs> festival yeah they so, were uh, uh, really like uh, drinking from uh, horns horns yeah. like uh, uh, so I was thinking oh my god and we were building up and someone said Oh, are you in the band? So like the huh? girls, right? The girls, they asked two me, girls uh, in the band. You have, you have girls, you have girls in the band. <laughs> I yeah, thought yeah, you were in the band. You were in the band, <laughs> but that was cool. We yeah. even, I even got uh, my first helicopter show. <laughs> oh, really good. Public. <laughs> yeah, public. Yeah, oh, public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a naked man. Uh... <laughs> As somebody really? called me uh, guitar god. But so. oh yeah, yeah, someone did like God, God. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so there was a great festival. Yeah. And when you're on the stage, it's not that uh, uh, we, uh, too weird to have the helicopter scene. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's weird, no matter what. I do. Yeah. Um, I always think, like you said, you'll be the exception there as well in situations like that, because as much as you might like the heavier side of metal, ten bands in a row, roaring and screaming. Yeah can get a little bit cloying. You might yeah. really then go, oh sweet, here's something so different, yeah. so energetic, so fun. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that also was the reason they uh, had the surprise. Yeah. yeah. Good. So what's a realistic goal for the Dirty Denims right now then? A realistic goal. Uh, what kind of goal? <laughs> to sell out our uh, <laughs> new uh, the album that's out, right? And I hope, uh, yeah, we already have a gig, so after we release an album, of course, we want to play a lot of live, because it's difficult now. <laughs> but uh, in 2021, that would be great to uh, play. Uh, yeah, normally we play like 40, 45 gigs in a year. So uh, <laughs> it's, I don't think it's realistic to have that already in 2021. But um, yeah, what a goal we have. What a goal we have. <laughs> Sold out shows yeah. on our own. Yeah, Real. yeah, yeah, yeah. And small uh, venues, small uh, venues sold out. Yeah. yeah, that will be a good start. For, yeah, and yeah, yeah. maybe uh, outside of the Netherlands, Germany, and Belgium, the three countries we already play in, maybe add uh, one or two extra or do a mini tour or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful, realistic as hell. I love it. Right, guys. Last choices then. Yeah. The music, right? Yes, music. Yeah, the records. What did, do we have? Um, yeah, mine is uh, the Donnas, Spend the Night. It's a, uh, do you know them? Yeah, it's been, oh, it's been like a decade since I thought of the Donnas. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's my youth. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we are called, uh, called after them because they have a, so a song, oh, Dirty Denim. Do, yeah. And uh, uh, by the, yeah, that album, Spend the Night, of the Donnas, I really uh, wanted to uh, learn uh, electric guitar. I al already knew some acoustic, but uh, yeah, be because of that album, I really wanted to play the electric guitar. And uh, first, I wanted to uh, start an all-girl band. <laughs> and it turned out 50-50. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy that it's now 2-2. Two, two. I, li I like that. Uh, I think I'd like it even more because you have both best of both worlds. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's the reason I want to be really in a be in, in, in a rock band. So, yeah. Amazing. So such a major influence. The Donners, such an that album, and the Donners in general. I guess such a major influence on your life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. Saw them a few times. Yeah, I saw them also a few times. It's so bad they played. Uh, they stopped. 
Yeah. Because otherwise we could really uh, have done their support show or something that would really be yeah, there. Yeah, what a great goal. Double, double, double bill. Yeah, <laughs> double bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never say never when bands split these days. Never say never. Who knows? No. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, do you want to say yours? Yeah, I think if I uh, take only one, hmm. I want to have a party, so I would uh, take uh, ACDC. Um, but then the, the live record, if you, if you want blood, you've got it. Oh wow, the live record, excellent choice. It's really because good for then, Yeah, because I, I like studio albums, but this the energy on this record is so great. So uh, that's, I think, my favorite live. And I want to have a live because then I can close my eyes and pretend that- uh, On the that, island, that on the island. island. I'm on a, on a, a so you know, also in the Corona times, always listening to live yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, or, or Kiss alive. But, but I think I will choose ACDC. Yeah. Excellent choice. It's one of those recordings that um, where you can really hear the crowd noise, which is uh, an important aspect. You can smell the, the sweat of the recordings, I think. It's uh, fantastic. It's made with so much energy and uh, it, it sounds amazing, I think. So, uh, yeah. And it's got a lot of cool songs. Of course. Of course. It's one great track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Suzanne uh, said uh, she was. I was asking her the questions, and uh, she was on that moment spinning this one, the Super Tramp live in Paris. Oh, wow, Super Tramp! It's surprising, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting choice. I, I expected because of the whole drumming thing, and you keep saying she's such a drummer, that yeah. there's yeah. something heavily focused on a drummer's side of music. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, but I think she also really likes the the songs. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's also, a, I think she's also a song girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she likes this. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Mark, also ECDC, so we have two records of ECDC, yeah. but then <laughs> let them be rock. Let them okay, be rock. Yes. but you have the difference between live and, and not, you know, yeah. so you have got the variation depending upon how you wake up and feel that morning. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> if, he brings, if he brings that, I'm like, I'm going to always bring kids. So. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Your record choices as well, obviously, you can just easily go, well, they're also so heavily tied into the Dirty Denims as yeah. a unit as well. It's very, very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're coming to the end now. What has been, up to this point, your favourite moment of being in the Dirty Denims? Ooh, um... Yeah, it, it is a live show because we like that most, I think, I guess, that's more, uh, but which one? Um, yeah, we had a few very cool uh, gigs in the, with this band member lineup. Uh, um, most of them are in Germany, the, the, the crowd in Germany is amazing. <laughs> um, which one? Germany go crazy for you, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the crowd is yeah. very cool. And yeah, we had, uh, we played two times on uh, in Hanover on Nitro Fest. Mm -hmm. And the second time, it was also very amazing. And the people buy merchandise uh, before you play. I think, I think uh, the, the, <laughs> the show she's talking about, Night Fest, was with this, this last yeah. lineup because we had a few other band members. And uh, now we have a really great, great lineup. Uh, and um, that was a great show because it was like, uh, that was like everybody was there for us. For us. <laughs> yeah, it felt, felt like, like our. That. Yeah, that was yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really fantastic. One of my favorites was because when uh, it was my birthday, oh yeah, at, at twelve o'clock, and uh, when I was uh, the, the, one of the first uh, CDs I bought was uh, Extreme uh, Pornography, the record, and um, I played it so many times uh, when I was young because I only had I think three CDs, <laughs> and that was one of them, and uh, I think it's twenty five. 20, 28, I'm not, how old am I? 25, <laughs> year, 25 years later, we, we were opening for Extreme. Wow. And and we, we met them and uh, they, so and I always listen to them and now they, they listen to, uh, to me. Yeah, so and, they wear, like a, and they wore a shirt of the Dirty Denims, yeah. we have a picture of it. Yeah. And um, at 12 o'clock, after the gig, he was, it was his birthday, but also... From a Gary the Singer. Gary the Singer's uh, birthday, so yeah. <laughs> that's cool, very cool. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you could yeah. plan yeah. such an yeah. event. So, so that was really for me like a, a, a circle for uh, yeah, yeah. They were also inspired me a bit uh, playing music. I bet I can spread like uh, you know, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but but it's a different style. But uh, yeah. But then yeah, 
I managed to uh, get myself uh, as opening act or, or, or the band yeah. for the for the for Extreme. So that was yeah. really really amazing. And the best part was that we were asked for it by the by the venue. Yeah, by the venue. We yeah. got an email. Do you want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We didn't even want. We didn't even. <laughs> asked for it so that yeah. was uh yeah and it was good, but, uh, so. talk about validation right validate yeah, 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 yeah. but we did a very much cool support show so uh a support show is uh, uh sometimes a weird thing and weird uh, because of course people aren't coming for you but what i like about playing support shows is that uh they don't come for you, so the only thing you can do is surprise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And when you, uh, yeah, I hate it when they say you only can play 30, uh, 30 minutes, but uh, I guess it's also the best because if it's short and sweet, then people want more. Uh, but yeah, we, we, so we played with uh, White Snake. Yeah, White Snake um, was also really, really great. Yeah. Like thousands uh, of people. And... and we did an after show of. Uh, uh, Slash, so it was after his show we yeah. played. Uh, we met Slash backstage. Yeah, also, also uh, <laughs> Appetite for Destruction was also one of my first CDs. So, yeah. yeah. And yeah. three times Steel Panther. And, yeah, uh, Steel Panther. Yeah. Also, yeah. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. And, and Mark, uh, he was in the audience because he wasn't in the band yet when we played oh, uh, yeah. with Steel Panther in. Uh, the city close by, yeah. so he, he still wants to do another show, so he can yeah. also be on stage. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I hope that's uh, yeah. It's You've happen. already got yeah. such incredible stories to share, yeah. and it still feels like you're only really getting started. So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we uh, that's what keeps us going is because um, every day we get more people who are positive and uh, like it and. Uh, yeah, that's good for us. If we still see uh, progress in the people, yeah. then it's it's fine. And then we know it's a long time to the top if you want to rock and roll. So uh, <laughs> we just want, because we started in 2006, so it's uh, quite a while now. Yeah. But we did the last few years, really got a bit more serious. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I think it's no. distinction between yeah. Obviously, live gigs, we've already said however many times throughout this conversation that they're not really going on. But I'm wondering if you can share any plans you do have in the works for the remainder of 2020 and maybe in the 2021. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, at, uh, within a few weeks, uh, I mean, next week, actually. Uh, in August, we play in, um, in Germany and Krefeld, and it's outside. It would be uh, inside, but they changed it to outside, and uh, so it can happen. We are very curious what the situation will be. <laughs> very. Uh, and um, in September, we do a show in, in Ude, it's in the Netherlands, and it's in, in a theater. So it's a big theater, and only 100 people can be there, but we are happy when there are 100 people, so. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then uh, we hope we can sell it out, and we, then we, uh, have already got, got the go. uh, goal. Yeah, and uh, November 20th, we also play in Germany with uh, two other bands, and they uh, changed it to a bigger venue, so there is small space too. And next year, we have the festivals, uh, we hope, I guess. Because, yeah, the postponed, yeah, the postponed, the postponed gig, so uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, we have to wait and hope it will be possible, but uh, people can be on beaches close to each other, I think. People can yeah. be on festival grounds close to each other with yeah. the band playing. So. Yeah, yeah. I guess the festival is the same as the beach, but then with a band on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> as everybody will sit, then it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do it. What a wonderful way to put it. You're right. No one's really used that analogy in this country in regards to beaches and stuff like that. I'm glad you said that. Guys, before you go, there is one more secret one. You do, you get to choose one more thing. This is some, so it's just you two, because obviously I didn't tell you before, yeah. and we never do. Everybody gets this at the end. You get yeah. one item each that effectively is a luxury item that you don't think you can live without. So something special to you or something you just need. Oh, that's what easy. Is it? Yeah, for you, it's easy. I, I need a guitar. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Of course yeah. it's a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I, then I, can, I can play yeah. on this one, so yeah. I don't have I, to. I, I, think, I don't think I, I could not live without a guitar. I have, I have a few. And uh, I change somehow, but uh, so every now and then I, I change. But uh, I could not live without one. So for me, an, an electric guitar, or, or even on a uh, um, on remote islands, even an acoustic. Wonderful. So. <laughs> and then I bring I bring my laptop because yeah, <laughs> uh, I have a bike also <laughs> attached to uh, do the, the, oh, the for the for, for the, the power for the power. <laughs> 
<laughs> because I'm really uh, a lot on my computer, and uh, but then we can um, still connect with the hardworking people on other countries. <laughs> so. That is some excellent planning. I love that. You can still make music. You can still send it out there. <laughs> yeah, 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 music yeah, making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> Guys, when I love you and leave you then on the island, thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?